Just finished filling up gas here in, uh, I think I'm south of Tuscaloosa. Welcome back to Street Home Alabama Tour. This is the second, the second to last episode. Uh, joined again with Trey and his son, Luke, his younger son today. And we're actually heading inside a little local tackle shop here at the gas station. So I always love shopping local, checking out the local shops and uh, see what we got. Live bait and tackle. Wow. This place is sick. It's like it's like a little Bass Pro Shops in the back of a gas station. This gas station knows what's up right here. We got the Mach 2 combo right here. The Lou's booth here is almost all sold out. They only got four left. But I can't say the same about uh, some other brands. That is the greenest rod I have ever seen in my life. See, I thought Lou's was going crazy with the uh, orange and green rods. That ducket is green. Oh my gracious, hey. Luke, Luke, you get that thing of peanuts? Can you, can you carry that out? <laughs> All right, enough tackle shopping. We are back on the road. I, I didn't lock my truck, that's not good. All right, back on the road again. We have arrived here at the lake, it is gorgeous. I think on the property here, the guy, uh, Mr. Lee, has a few lakes and uh, water clarity is definitely low right now, but I'm excited. I'm going to do an interview with Mr. Lee here in a second to kind of explain what his properties are like, uh, how long he's had these lakes for, kind of how he manages these lakes. I think the topic of this video is going to be how to properly manage your bass pond. And I'm just excited. It's going to be an awesome day. Hopefully big bass, hopefully doing a few uh, cool things. Oh, one sec. We're lowering the, the boat down, he says. The boat is just kind of like lowering itself down into the water. That's incredible. I need to get out of pants because it is hot now. So I'm sitting here in my truck packing up all my stuff for the fishing day today because I was too tired to do it last night. And so kind of looking at the conditions today, we're looking at about, I don't know, probably 75 degree water, definitely post spawn here in this lake. Very, very dirty water. So probably going to have to be throwing a chatterbait, spinnerbait kind of thing today. But it is bluebird skies, which is kind of unfortunate because that's going to get these fish in a, a very, very weird mindset this time of the year. Uh, probably, probably finicky is my guess, but they're still going to have to bite reaction baits like this because it's the only way to actually make enough vibration for these fish to find it. So I'm thinking some kind of very slow moving Colorado spinnerbait, that kind of thing. Maybe a swim in a worm through the grass, anything like that. Possibly a little outcast Seth fighter jig. Flipped up in these shoreline grasses. I'm excited. My ride has arrived. Been fishing this lake for 30 years. The biggest fish caught out of here was a little over nine pounds. Uh, Hank Parker and a couple of high school boys from Auburn fished here and caught a lot of four or six pound and the largest was nine and it went to another lake and caught another nine for national TV. Roland Martin's been here, so is Jimmy Houston. Uh, so they've all made fishing shows here. Maybe we'll find some today. There should be still some left. And which fish do we keep in here? 17 inches and below. Everything 17 and below comes out. Wow. <laughs> What's that? Uh, everything three pound and below you're saying? Everything three pound and below. All righty. Yeah, that's well, exactly right. Well, good deal. Thank you for letting us come here. And yes, my ride is uh, leaving. Yes. Come, come back and pick me up. We are out on the lake. Street Home Alabama tour is uh, continuing. You guys heard the cool story there from Mr. Lee about these lakes. But we're out here again with Trey and the other son, Luke. I, uh, I got to hang out with Luke and his brother, as you guys saw in the last video, um, back at Smith Lake. And so we're out here on this private lake, hopefully going to catch some big old, big old bass. And as he mentioned, we're going to manage these fish. So we're going to throw in the cooler to take home every fish under 17 inches, which a 17 incher. I believe in Manitoba, an 18 incher is like a master angler up in Canada. So like 17 inch is a, is a good fish. And so we're gonna, for the sake of the lake, if you guys don't know much, much about management, you throw uh, a certain amount of whatever size you, you decide of fish into uh, the cooler and take them home. That way the bigger fish can continue to get bigger and the population can thrive. Because if you have too many fish um, of, of small sizes, you're not gonna have a big trophy fishery. And so that's the point of managing is you wanna take out the small fish. Of course, not all the small fish, but a, a good amount of them so the lake can thrive so without further ado let's catch some fish not for a few weeks giant yep yep i got a big one. i got a big one huge huge eight pounder eight pounder yep 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 
We have a net or not? Nope. Okay. All right. Here I got him. I got him. I got him. I'll get him. I'll let him. Yep. I, oh. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. The reason why he broke off is because he took me on this, this, uh, what's it called? Cable. Right as soon as I set the hook, I felt the cable go, and it, it screeched along the cable. Was that on the lizard? Yeah. How big was he? I saw him come up a little bit. That was, that was, that was eight. Was he? Yeah. All right, folks. Well, that's uh, not ideal. Thank you, Mr. Cable, for snapping my line. Really, really appreciate it. That's the best. <sighs> Dang it. Get him. He's a big one. Is it big? Oh, he better come up. Yeah, good one, Luke. Good one, bud. Luke, don't break. Grab him. Get him, Dad. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yes. There we go. Good job, Luke. Heck yeah, Luke. Oh, he's not as big as I thought. 3'3. Three, three. Nope, 279. Oh. Okay. He's skinny. That's all right. So he is just a 17 inches, so we're gonna put him in there. Well done, son. A little bit of redemption for us after I lost my eight. <laughs> no. I'll go with that. Got him. Got him? Yep, feels big. Nope, about the same size, three pounder. They are on that point. They are on that point. Yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. All righty. This one ain't breaking off. I'm gonna play him better. <laughs> hey, that's a better fish. Just a little bit. This fish is strong though, not gonna lie. Where is he at? Where'd he go? There he is. Bring it in here, you fish. Oh, he's fat. Oh, there we go. That's a fat one. Yep. You're right. <laughs> oh, Luke had one too. Alrighty. We're gonna get you unhooked, my friend. That one will have to go back. And put you on the scale. Yeah, that one's not as that one's uh that's a three-pounder. That's a, that's a, that's, that fish is nice. We want this fish in the ecosystem here. There we go. Another one. Nice one. That's a good one. Alrighty, bud. Thanks for playing. Go find your cousin, Sheila. That's a fish. He's coming in the boat. I know. Luke thinks he's got a big one. That's a fatty. That's a good one, Luke. All right. Oh, reel it out. Come on. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Where are you going, buddy? Big one. Big one for Luke. I don't know, dude. Oh, it's a good one. Luke. Is it big? Oh my gosh! Holy crap! Luke, wait, Luke! Keep, keep tension, keep tension, keep tension. Hey, no, 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 don't do that yet, don't do that yet. Don't do that, no, no, hey, just play him, play him simple, play him simple, nice and calm. Hey, no trade, I'll grab her yet. He came off. Yeah. Came off, he didn't break. That's all right. That was a big one, Luke. That was a PB, that's all right, hey. <laughs> it happens, it happened to me earlier too. All right, so do you want a little teaching moment there? You, are you ready for a teaching moment? Yes. So, when your fish is big like that, they have a lot of power. Yep. And so, when you sit down like this, you have zero control over where the fish goes. So you gotta stand up and have your, your reel here. That way you have your whole rod to play the fish. Because if you're sitting like this, your rod tip went down, and he, he didn't break off. He could have broke off, but he, he got off right there. So if you were able to play him around, you would have had a lot more leverage on that fish. Hey, there's more in here though. Look at that. We didn't just get one big bite in the day. That was that was huge. That's two fish. That's that's two eights. Yeah. Do I have one right now? Yep. Yeah, it's a big one. Maybe not. That's not, just, a, bad not a bad fish. Double up. Is this big? Uh, he's deep. Yeah. Look at that. Oh yes. Yep. There we go. Lost my lizard. All right. Heck yeah. It's a good fish. Oh yeah. Double up for me and Trey. Ton of cookie cutter, three pounders. Huh? Tons of cookie cutter, three pounders in here. That's good. That's what you want. You want a bunch of three pounders in your pond. Little guy. All right. Hello, 
guy. There you go. Oh my gosh. That's a big one. You still you still hung? You got it. That's a huge one. Playing, playing, playing. That's a big one, dude. Nah, well, yeah. That's a five. Let me unhook mine. Just keep keep tension and playing nice and calm. Keep tension. And don't don't sit down. Stand up. There you go. Don't don't horse him. Don't horse him. Oh oh gosh. You got you got too much line. You got too much line. There you go. I got him. Get him, Dad. Get him, Dad. Get him, Dad. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Luke. There we go, Luke. Heck yeah. That's bigger, that's bigger than five. Look at that. Uh, yeah, that's a that's Man, that's, that's a, a six and a half one, seven. Heck yeah, dude. Personal best. I hope so. We're gonna weigh it. Hold him. Heck yeah, man. Oh, Hold on for the camera here. Yes. There you go. All right, that's a big one, dude. Hold let's on, get him. Get let's get him on the I'm scale. Here, turn around. Hold on. There we go. Six. Six point one two. Good job. There we dude. go, bud. Is that a new PB? Yes. Heck yeah, right. dude. Look at that fish. That's gorgeous. All righty. Let me get my big camera and we'll get to the uh, fish release here. Yes. Big in, dude. That's huge. All right, let's release him on uh, this side of the boat here. Yes, sir. Away she goes. Let's grab her tail here. Oh, is she ready? There she goes. Dude, give me some of that. Yes, sir. Nice work, Luke. A 6.12 takes over big bass of the afternoon. So Luke is now in the lead. There are big ones everywhere. Dude, the one that you lost was like... Oh. Was 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 at least two or three pounds bigger than that. Heck yeah. They're here, folks. There he is. Ah, little guy. And the connect scale told us we have an 18 pound limit right now. Is that what we got for five feet? Yeah. I mean, that could have been like 27 <laughs> with the ones we lost. Goodness. Luke's killing the game. Luke is, is wearing us out. Oh gosh. You got a good one? Oh gosh. It feels big. I don't know. It's swimming at me now. Oh yeah. Good fish. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Gosh. Look at that one. Another Another well, he's a little smaller than yours. Oh, yes. boat flipped him. Woo! I don't believe in lipping fish. Yeah, Alright. Really Heck yeah. These fish are healthy really three two four see you bud i need to catch an over five so i can have a picture it's weird i haven't gotten a bite on this point oh you got a bite oh dad's got one there you go oh yes oh trey get him i was just saying i didn't get a bite that's because that's because trey got the bite that's what happened Come on, baby. yes sir that's a four or five Yep, got him. Yes. Good fish. Here we go. Good job, Dad. Look at that father son bonding. Nothing like it. <laughs> got him. Ah, little guy. I think. Nope. Oh. No, not a little guy. Not a little guy at all. Nice. I told you. I told you there was a big one on there. Yep, you're right. Get my rod tip down. Keep him down. Luke, I may have you here. Uh oh. I may have you. Uh -oh. I don't think he's got you, Luke. I don't think he's got you. But I got two of them, though. Huh? <laughs> no, you can't combine your weights. That ain't how this works. No, 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 no. We're all we're just combining our best five together. But we're doing a big bass. He's a good fish, but I'm not. I'm not thinking he's over six. I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll see. Three. It's it's gonna be close. Yep, it's gonna be close. Gosh dang it. Fish. Yeah, I know. Too strong. If I was my boat, I would have flipped this fish in. I got 20 pound floor out. <sighs> yeah. That's a big one. But yeah, I think I think you still got me here, Luke. <laughs> <sighs> you were scared there for a second, weren't you? My power's weighing. Let's start working. Woo! Pretty fish. Good fish. That is gorgeous. One. Four, four, three. <laughs> dang it! Ah! Luke, keeps the lead. It's a skinny fish. Yours was, yours was fatter than mine was. Gorgeous fish. Hooked 
up. Gotta love. Oh, Luke's hooked up. You got, you got one? Tiny one. Little one. Oh, yep. We've got a little one. And we're gonna let you go, my friend. See you later. Have a good life. Jump for us. Jump for us. Do it. Ah. Nope. Stram away with Grace. What a day. Let's keep catching them. Little guy. Ripping layups, packing dips, and um, nipping nips. I don't know what that means. What a day. What a day we had. Three claps for this day. Such a big day, Luke's taking a nap. I wish I gotta drive. Oh, we are back at the ramp. More or less a ramp, more or less a, I don't even know, trolley. I'll tell you guys, this is why I go to Minnesota in the summer because it's hot here. And I'm not even in Texas, I'm in Alabama. But it is a steamy one. I think I've got AFCO sun gear to protect me from the harsh sun. I'm not gonna be sunburned, although AFCO doesn't protect my feet, so my flip-flop tan is straight up savage. New PB Luke, how are you feeling? Good. Just good? Great. There you go. Accomplished. Great. That feels good. Oh yeah. Very accomplished. Where did, you, did you bank this right here? Yes, my dad and I made it. We made it for my last uh, last truck. Well, that is going to do it for the central part of the Sweet Home Alabama Tour. Thank you so much to Trey and his sons, Logan and Luke. Luke joined us today. Luke's new PB. Congratulations. Uh, Trey, give me a high five too. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for letting them stay. And I say we head on the road to head to Smith Lake. So Sounds good. see you guys later. Right. Next time.